Hi guys, this is Morgan right here and today we're gonna show you the basics of how to do panel for Twitch. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go file and we're gonna press new. This window should pop so you can put the size. Now the size depends on you. Um, I like to use 500 by 175 or uh, 500 by 800 uh, after everything is good press create here we have the new file this is the 500 by 175 now if you do use the 500 by 800 this is what it will look like um, in this case I like to work my panels in here if I have to make a lot of panels I just put it in a line and then I save it one by one in this case this is an example of how it will look when I do work with big files but for this tutorial we're gonna use the 500 by 175 okay so the first thing we want to do is we're gonna add a layer and we're gonna click the bucket and we are going to pick a dark gray just to see how it will look in dark mode after that we add another layer and this is where we're gonna do the base i always like to start with the white background so the first thing we're gonna do is get the selection tool or press m for the shortcut and we're gonna make a rectangle after we make the rectangle we already have the layer for the base color. Pick the bucket and choose the color you want for your panel. In my case, I will do a darker gray. And we're gonna click on the rectangle. After you're done with your rectangle, you can Ctrl D for deselect. Good, so we have the base now. That's where the design's gonna go and the text. After that, we're gonna press again on layer. So we're gonna have another layer on top of the base and we're gonna proceed and pick the selection tool again. For this design, I'm gonna do something just uh, basic, um, just to show you because I know some people like very simple stuff or they new to, to Photoshop. So I just wanna show you the basic and to show you that you can just do it yourself if you don't have photoshop you can also use gimp that is free just make something simple just in case you cannot afford a graphic designer and you just started to stream so now we are gonna make a thin square i'm just gonna do it like this just to show you a couple of things um in this case it's gonna be blue because i'm making a twitter um, panel so we're gonna do the same thing pick the bucket and make sure that you have the correct layer selected so we're gonna click and we're gonna ctrl D to deselect now one of the most important thing is that you have to name your layers so put here color rectangle and this one will be base so now what i wanted to show is sometimes you may have this kind of things happen not by that much but like here um just coming a little bit out of the rectangle so what we're gonna do the way to clean that is really easy we're gonna go to the base layer and we're gonna press control and click on this picture so you see how my little hand pop like a square when it does pop the square it means you're doing it right so you're gonna click and you're gonna see the selection tool around the rectangle so now we are going to go to selection tool again and we're gonna right click and we're gonna select inverse. You see how now it's around the border as well. It means it's not selecting the rectangle anymore. It's re selecting the background. 
Okay, so now we're gonna... We, all we have to do is press the color rectangle layer. Which is gonna be the blue. And we're just gonna press leave. And that's how we clean and make sure that is aligned with the rectangle. All right, so now that we have that, we're gonna go to the text. Press the text tool and then we're gonna have Twitter in this case. All right, so Photoshop already come with some fonts. But if you want, I'll show you here, come to some fonts. But if you would like more fonts, um, I recommend you to check uh, 1001 free fonts or dafont.com. Those are the ones that I always use for free font. Now, I'm going to put the link in the description if you want to check them out. So you can check some fonts out if you would like. Now, we're here. We have a Twitter logo here. Uh, this one is in PNG. Please make sure it's a PNG and not a JPEG because if it's not PNG, it would not be transparent background. You know it's PNG because you will see these squares in the back. White and gray. If it's JPEG, it will be white. All right, we're gonna copy and we're gonna paste here. We are going to resize. And we are going to put it right there. And there you go. You have a very simple panel. Took you a couple of minutes. And um, if you want to add some effect or some kind of light, like I did on mine, um, I will just go to the brush, make sure it's zero on hardness and uh, medium to big size. So we can have that lining effect. Um, pick the color you would like to have lining. Control, press control and press the vase again. And then make a new layer to make, to do this. And you're gonna come here, just the top of the circle, and you're just gonna press one. If you want it brighter, then press twice. Control D for the select. And we will see, we will check how it looks on dark mode. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good and white as well. Okay, now, how do I make different panels in just this small area? Okay, so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna press this folder and it's gonna create a group. So you're gonna put all the layers of the panel inside that group. There we go. So you can see if you close the group and if if you just gonna everything is gonna disappear. We're gonna duplicate this layer. Control j so you're gonna see a group copy on the top so now we're gonna name this twitter and we're gonna name this one donations because that's the one we're gonna do next all i do is come to the logo that we use for the panel and delete it and just click the text tool and let's say donations all right, let's resize it a little bit. There we go. So we have the nations and we are going to use this logo right here. Paste and resize. So now, the question is, how do we change color? We have different ways of doing this. Um, for the first option is Control U. You're gonna have this pop, and then you can just play with the color 
the saturation and light so this is one of the way of doing it and the other way is on the layer you're gonna double click and color overlay and then you can just play with what whatever color you would like let's make it green all right so how do we use the same color in the text or the lights that's very easy this is the code of your color you will copy Select your text, click in these two squares, and then paste the color in this area. So now you have the same color for your text. For the light, for this case, I use Ctrl U because it's easier and it's faster for me. Now, for the dollar sign, have you can see, if it's black or white, you have to do the overlay option. Because if we come to the Ctrl U one and you change the color, it's not gonna work. The only thing that works is lightning. Can be either grayish or white or black. So that's why we come to the layer, we double click and we use color overlay. Let's make it a little bit brighter. And there we go. That's how I make my panels. Something simple and easy to make. Check if it looks good on the dark mode, white mode, and you're all set. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope you like my tutorial and I hope you learned something new. I just wanted to do something basic, so if you have GIMP or Photoshop, just try it out. If you don't have any panels yet, let me know how it comes. I would like to see your panels, how they come out of these tutorials. And if you like the video, please click thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can just click thumbs down and let me know why down in the comments below and if you want to see more tutorials in the future just let me know what would you like to see and i will see you in next video